how solo leveling really began by Mr. Resolved. Let's see what he got cooked up for us this time. I hate everyone here! Ah! Hey, you're probably wondering how- Is he voice acting all of this by himself? I got here. Well, it all happened literally five minutes ago! Let me show you. Okay. Uh, Great job killing the boss, everyone. Mr. Song, you yeah. Amazing. Woo! Except you, Sung Jin Woo. <laughs> you got fucked up by Goblin Jew. He has to dedicate her healing. A B class healer, by the way. Dedicate just for your ass. You were really useless. <laughs> oh, both days like a big K or something. We should totally check it out, mate. Great fun. Why does he sound like a cholo? <laughs> oh, both days like a big K or something. We should totally check it out, mate. <laughs> yeah, fool. We should totally check it out. Great find, Jeremy. I'm so proud of <laughs> The cholo's name is Jeremy? <laughs> All right, Jeremy. Well, it looks like it will be a double dungeon. Dun, dun, dun. Means more loot. That's right. Double the loot, double the dungeon, baby. But also double the danger, maybe. Yeah, I love more loot. Let's go in, boss. What is that the green? Is that Mr. Family Man, the green poofy guy's voice? Yeah, I love more loot. More loot. Yeah, I love more loot. And also, I have a second child on its way. Not a death flag. Let's go in, boss. Wait, if it's a double dungeon, we must report it to the Hunters Association. True. It could be really dangerous. True. Well, if you're gonna cry about it, we can do a vote. What? No vote. Sorry, Missy, but it looks like the people want to People go want in. money. Sung has something to say. Well, I don't really. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Sung. Let's go in. <laughs> well, <laughs> there was, in the anime episode, <laughs> there was like a tiebreaker, right? Technically, that he did choose. Boys. <laughs> hey guys, check it out! A giant door. Oh, surely this is not a boss's room, just a big ass gate. Let's go in. Oh, oh my god. That really is a giant door. Yo, this is solo leveling abridged. I'm just realizing. Mr. Resolved. He is just a fucking abridged. G oh my god. I am just realizing this. I've never seen anything <laughs> like this before. There could be anything behind it. Yeah. Even Gold. This rank monster. So Ooh. we should probably turn back. Shut the fuck up, Juhi. We're going in. We should totally go in there or something. Great idea, Jeremy. My favorite voice so far, Mr. Resolved, is Jeremy. Jeremy is fucking hilarious. It's it's just funny that he has that accent, but his name is Jeremy, dude. We should totally go in there. You could have called him like Juan Antonio. You could have called him Jorge, but no, it's just a fucking white name, Jeremy. Something. Great idea, Jeremy. You are always the voice of reason. All right, Jeremy. Ooh. Okay, instantly. When you enter a dungeon, first of all, it's a fucking gate. You should expect it's a fucking boss gate. But when you see torches around, lighting up with blue flames as you open the gates, what are you thinking at the moon? It's time to get the fuck out. Oh, boy. Nothing, nothing wow, sus going on. Look at this cute statue. Cute. Ah. Hey, boss. Look at this writing. Hmm. Something, hmm. something revere God, praise yeah. God, praise worship God, God. yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Son, ah, who cares? I just saw the big statue looking at us. Now nah, you're schizo. Now, I'm looking for Java. <laughs> Do we have internet connection? Actually, that's really interesting. No, no, this is actually interesting because we do have smartphones outside. But if we brought that phone inside, can we contact people outside? There's no landlines. There, there's, there shouldn't be any networking that allows us to use technology inside the dungeons, right? But I'm just starting to read. This could be an, an interesting mechanic. No, it doesn't work in it. Yeah, I, I, it, it would be too cheap, right? Like, if, as soon as we go in there and we just call up the fucking Hunters Association. Yeah, by the way, there's a double dungeon. Can you handle, send us some support? I don't, that'd be too cheap, right? I, I, it would be way too cheap. There isn't even a signal here. No signal, okay. Oh, boss, the dog crawls or something. Jeremy, no! Jeremy, no! Jeremy, stop! No, 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 no! Oh, boss, the dog crawls or something. I better check it out, mate. Thank you. Jeremy, look out! No, Jeremy! No! 
Jeremy! He was one of the greatest men I've ever- I love Jeremy and his accent. And his ex exceptionally white name despite his accent. I love Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy died. No, not Jeremy. So stronger than me. Well, let me look at the statue again. If it's eyes, careful, myself. careful. Oh! I just pissed myself. Everyone, get down! Oh my God, that guy's skeleton, bro. That guy's fucking bones just showing. Oh, y'all dead. Oh my God, son! How did you know it was gonna shoot? Wait, are you genuinely asking me that, or? Are you making fun of me again? No, 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 it's because I think the anime logic was that he's been in so many dire situations being the weakest hunter. Does that make sense? Well, you would expect like stronger hunters to be in more dire situations. Anyway, he's been exposed to so many situations like this where his survival instincts are kind of on point. So I guess his perception already kind of like was already on a base stat. Before we got the leveling system, his perception is pretty good there, huh? Do you think I would be choking at a time like this? Well, yes. I just saw its eyes glowing and... Then I saw a laser. It's uh -huh. not rocket science. Hey, you got a point. Guys, if you see the statue's eyes glowing, yeah. that means it will attack. No way! Oh, smart boss. <laughs> <laughs> Bro just took her fucking credit. Bro just took her credit. Oh no. Oh no. Mr. I am so confident in my speed. Usain Bolt is about to fucking try it. Oh no. Oh no. Back, you're so smart boss. <laughs> Hey guys, I have an idea. Oh if yeah? I run really fast, maybe I can. I think this is comedy. Pure comedy. Not just his voice acting right now, Mr. Rizal, but like the way that the statue shot at Mr. Speed's fucking legs and all he's left with is his shoes. Yeah. Bro literally cut his speed off. There goes one of the greatest men I've ever seen. I thought I was supposed to be the stupid one here. Hey, son. You have any idea what to do here? You're what should we do? Steal my idea again? Yes. I've never done such a thing. Fine. Cap. Can you just Cap. tell me what the text said again? I think it said to Revere, Revere God. God or something. If only there was a way to know what to do. Maybe we should do what it said. Revere it. There was some kind of hint. Okay. It is a hint, Mr. Song! How about we bow to that thing as the stupid text says? Oh, I've got it! Hey, guys! We need to bow our heads towards the big statue! I knew it! He stole our credit again! Oh, oh, oh. It's that smile again. Look at its biggest smile. You done. Stop! This means we're good! No! This is like so many death flags shown by Mr. Fucking Green Poofy Family Man, dude. I can't believe he did this shit. So smart leader. How did you know? Jinmu's idea! Oh, no. when you're smart, things just make sense. This motherfucker stole our credit again. Mr. Song, come on! Wow, so cool. I'm gonna kill him when we get out. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, that's not just what I'm Maybe it wants a hug? Yeah, give it a I hug. Want a hug. <laughs> no! Mr. Churchgoer! Splat. Oh, guys, I don't think it wants a hug. Thank you. No! Shit! There goes one of the greatest men I. Mr. Family Man salute, but I'm sorry you triggered like four different fucking death flags before we even got in here. You're done. I've ever seen. Can you stop with that? Oh god, something. Usually Lee's the one with brains, but she's no good right she's now. She's useless. I'm the only one who can save us. Song, you have some kind of No, you're gonna steal my idea again, Mr. Song. Fuck you! Man, right. Well considering that the statues with weapons attack us when we get close, maybe we should stay Crazy, huh? Wow, Mr. Green Puffy guy got fucked by a statue with a weapon. Yeah, there's some instruments around. Maybe we should stand it. Mr. Song's about to steal our idea again. Stand next to the statues with instruments instead. They will not be able to hurt us. But but don't you dare. Hey everyone, I got it. Stand next to the statue. Fuck you! Attack us! And there it is. Stealer! Oh, the word.
This is the best part of the the. Actually, it's one of the best parts. It's when you go to the statues and all their instruments start playing that synchronizes with Hiroyuki Sawano's soundtrack. So good with the voice acting where Sung Jin Moo approached the statue that was not one with the instrument. It's like that's not the one, and the whole part where he's like desperately struggling to fucking crawl towards one. So good. And of course, I won't work with multiple people. Please stay here. I'll go to the other one. Wait, Sung Jin Woo, don't. <laughs> this scene is the best. This part, part, this part was so good. And that's how I got here. Anyway, let's continue. Hey, hey, that that was the intro scene, right? He played that in the intro. That's a callback. Not that I care or anything, but this is the wrong statue. That's not the right one. Oh, no, his foot. <laughs> this hurts. Yes, this part, dude. That's what I'm talking about. I think this portion of that episode in episode two was the best part. This desperation to crawl towards the other statue. But I got to the statue. <laughs> jokes are so old like only kids would laugh at it but it's not just a gay joke it's the fact that he's voice pitching at that statue's high-pitched voice statue <laughs> it's not my pitch oh, I <laughs> yeah what's next don't. No, you, you can't I heal your... You, you no, can't I regrow mean, a limb. Seriously, don't do it. It's pointless. Oh, the altar. The plastic Come surgery on, bed. What's this now? I think it's an altar. An altar? No, it's a plastic surgery bed. Well, I think we all know what needs to be done. Let's sacrifice Sung Jin Woo. Mr. Kim, come on, relax. You weren't this savage in episode two, not just yet. He's useless. Are you serious? <laughs> I was the one. Uh, I have to admit something. Is Mr. Song about to fucking throw us under the bus and say everything he stole was actually his and not Sung's? Sung was the one who solved everything. Oh, wait, I'm credit? Just a fraud. Wait, I credit given? the one to be sacrificed. Wait, really? Hold up. Thank you. Mr. Song, what the fuck? Guys, I don't think that's it. We need more Maybe people. Sacrifice him too. Hey, wait, what? Stop. <laughs> I guess we're wrong. Look, Mr. Resolved, I love it when you give accents to different characters. I don't know why. It just makes it way funnier. Hey, you two. Can you come here as well? Oh, shit. Now, stare at the statues and don't move. Don't you hey, dare, look, don't, don't. giant door is open. Don't. Let's run away. Yeah, let's go. Dude, this is the funniest part. This hoodie guy literally just throws Sung Jin Woo to the side. He could have just like let him down. Bro just tosses him. <laughs> like, you didn't have to throw this guy without a foot down on the ground like that. <laughs> Hey, why would you drop me? I can't move! And he's out. Coward! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, oh, everyone's left already. Sorry, but can you stay here? What? <laughs> I will take Lee with me and get her out of here. This is the face he made when Juhi fucking just like collapsed and her legs wouldn't move after Mr. Song said, It should be me, the senior, that takes this responsibility. I will stay around. You go out with Juhi. And Juhi fucking collapses. Well, shit, Sung Jin Woo, you don't got a foot either and she can't move. Yes, an opportunity of a lifetime has shown up. This face is like, oh shit, I can live. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you. So understanding. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not understanding. I didn't agree to that. I am not gonna leave Sung behind. And karate chopped. Thank you, Sung Jin Woo. Screw you. I'm really gonna. I don't. Okay, I think a good comparison right now is 
I don't know why, but Mr. Mi Resolve's Mr. Song right now kind of sounds like Erwin from Attack on Titan Abridged by Giguk. Thank you, Sun Chin Wu. <laughs> okay. Oh, you. You're really gonna die like that? I'll take at least one of you down with me. No, you're not. Oh, who am I kidding? No, you're not. Let's get it over with. It's a bloodbath, man. <laughs> It's crazy how he survived this, huh? It's crazy how he just survived this until the timer didn't run out. So much gore, so much blood, but like all these attacks were like just... The statue's playing with us. Oh, quest. Thank you! Courage of the Week! Mr. Statue! In 0.02 seconds. Yes. Oh, you know what Mr. Resolve should have done? He should have had like a sub button right here, you know, to end the video. Yo, that was a great video. We watched this, you know, what is a Sigma for at Anna Koji in a class and Elite meme. Yo, this solo leveling of Bridge was fucking hilarious. I hope he continues to make more. Please sub to his channel. Like his videos if you did. Goddamn. That was pure comedy. I love the accents. More accents, please.